spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How are you guys doing today? I hope I made at least a couple people piss themselves right there. So a friend of mine recently just came out as gay. Which I mean, no problem. I totally support that. I go, what makes you think that? And he goes, well, I like to bang other men. And I said, you know, that's a pretty reasonable response. And then he goes, Ian, I got a question for you. Would you be interested in doing stuff with me? Like you, me, me, you? And I looked back at him and I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, hold on, I still got another question. Then I asked him, so hey, when you do it with another guy, where do you usually stick it in? And right then and there, I started getting a phone call. And without even thinking about it, I answered my own question. I said, but hold on. <laughs> Every single time I start an episode off, I'm gonna purposely try and make it even worse than the last episode. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a little cabin right here. Uh, yeah, why not? I just thought of something. What if your homies were trees? You walk up and be like, what up, birch? <laughs> I hope you're doing oaky today. You could say I'm doing more than oaky. I'm doing pretty pine myself. Someone needs to take away my YouTube privileges. <laughs> So as many of you know, my girlfriend's name is Sophia, right? WRONG! As some of you know, her name is actually Faith. And today I've put together many puns using her name. We're gonna give her a call and see if I still have a girlfriend after this phone call. Hi, Big Dick Daddy. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just, uh, I'm just calling to check in to see if you're f being, um, faithful. <laughs> That's so original, where'd you come up with that? <laughs> so, you know how you're 19, right? Yeah. I was wondering, since you're not able to buy me alcohol, do you think we could get you a faith ID? <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Okay, you're really gonna can... like this one, since I'm your big dick daddy, apparently. Um, you can call me Mike Tyson, because I want to rub my balls on your faith. <laughs> you could really say I have faith in us, aren't you glad I faith timed? It's so funny, because it just sounds like you have a lisp. I faith timed me. Do you still want to be with me? <laughs> yes, 150%. Oh, yay. Oh, she still likes me somehow. I have no idea how. Y'all really think you're the bomb diggity titties down there, huh? So I was at Target the other day, and long story short, I ran into a midget. Get it? Long story short. <laughs> but she was working the guest service at this Target. Now, I don't have a problem with midgets, but this particular midget had it coming. She said, Soup, listen, we're not allowed to refund you $300 worth of merchandise that one we don't sell, and number two, you don't have a receipt for. And I said, listen here. I can literally bust a nut on your forehead while both of us are standing up. I'm not the type of man that you want to make an enemy with. And at that point, she basically just bowed down, which is unnecessarily funny because she was bar stool height when she was standing up. Now she's step stool height. <laughs> And then I gave her a $20 tip for listening to my terrible jokes. And honestly, the moment didn't last too long. It was just kind of short-lived. I feel like prank calling one of my friends right now. Uh, hi, this is Austin. Thanks for calling. Uh, call me back when you can. Bye. Get your pubescent ass out of here. Homie's got to change the voicemail. I think it's been like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute best sleep that a man can get with an arrow right through the tip of his dick. So you have your racist, you have your sexist, absolutely hideous. But what about an assist? Not every kind of ist is bad. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. An assist is a really good person. Like, you have your racists judging race. You have your sexists judging genders. And you have your assists judging ass. The real troopers. And see, the thing about an assist, or we could call them an assist at this point, they don't like specific types of cheeks. Like, if someone dislikes you because you got big boobs and no ass, that man is an assist. And that's why, from here on out, if you're ever at a shoe store, or any type of store for that matter, and they ask if you need assistance, homie, you best get out of there real quick. Because you don't need someone judging you by your physical traits. You need someone Someone to give you good advice, love and care for you unconditionally, and also judge your ass. I honestly have zero clues to what I'm even talking about anymore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at this cute little shack right here. I'm kind of messing with it. A beautiful place to have lunch with your girlfriend and butt chug coffee. Hot coffee. Now for some reason recently, a lot of people have been asking me if I give them some tips and tricks on how to grow on YouTube. So instead of giving you tips and tricks, I'm going to give you a very motivational speech about absolutely nothing. Dreams. They can be, but what are they? We don't know. Now, one thing that I do have to say is once you're through with it, it's all over. The time has come and the journey has begun. But only once are you going to be given this opportunity. Take it, leave it, doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Well, listen here. The only thing that really does matter in the long run of things is that it doesn't matter. None of it does. But when the time comes, you better be there. Bullying, it's not real. Their words, they're not real. You can't physically see them. Therefore, there are no value to them. But at last, when the journey comes to an end, I just want you all to know. Don't go to college. You can find more content like this on my channel, Gary V. <laughs> 
for the love of Satan's sweet cheeks, can I please just have some diamonds? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, smolly mother! <laughs> I was just sending your vibe into some Back to the Future music. This is why I don't give advice to anybody on YouTube. I was eating dinner with my family a couple nights ago, having just a grand old time. I love spending time with my family. But I've got a younger brother and we still gotta feed him. And she goes, coming in hot, here comes the airplane. You know what I'm talking about, the generic mom thing. Now I want to know why immediately when I heard that, my first thought was turning the oven to 450 degrees and busting a nut into the oven. Because you know, like, coming in hot. Which made me think, if I did that, even though I'm mostly Irish, wouldn't all of my kids be Jewish? <laughs> I got a pretty big load. There's gotta be a few million of them in there. My sense of humor is so dark sometimes. My apologies. I honestly think that I'm the devil. Like, let's do the quick math right here, okay? I am a ginger and my birthday's on Halloween. I think that's enough proof right there. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, they're coming for me! So each state has their own little monuments. Living in Minnesota, we got Valley Fair, Paul Bunyan, the Mall of America. So we went down and we visited the Mall of America one day. Having a grand old time, went on some rides. And right as we were leaving the mall, we noticed that there's those little pay phones. I honestly doubt they still have them anymore. But you'd have to pay to make a phone call. And we walk up to it and we say, hey, you know it'd be funny if we just call the police right now. So we did! We pick up the pay phone, we call 911, and it actually starts ringing. Wow, what a surprise! So before they could answer, we immediately hang up, and a couple of minutes pass by as we're waiting for everyone to come out of the bathroom. And we see a couple of police officers come up and start scanning the area, looking to see if anything happened and whatnot. Now, we didn't get caught, but it led me to a really funny thought. What if you actually had to pay to call the police? <laughs> now, mind you, this is like 10 years ago. Not everybody had cell phones. What if you were sitting at the mall and you just heard gunshots start going off everywhere? And you look around to contact emergency services and the only thing that you can find is a payphone. Oh! And the only thing that you can find is that payphone. You run up to the payphone, you type 911, and then they say, this call has a fee of 75 cents. But you don't have quarters on you. What are you going to do? You have to sit there and listen to people get shot because you didn't have 75 cents spare change on you. <laughs> Oh, hell no! Y'all gotta stop creeping on me this episode! This is not okay! Get out of my bed! I'm black later though, just, just not when my wife's here. Alright, so this is really problematic. I want to go to bed. You are in my bed. Also, now you just all up in my kitchen. Listen here, bucko. I don't got a problem with having guests every once in a while, but you, you are just pushing the limits. You know, in a past lifetime, I feel like you would have been a bomb-ass friend with an explosive personality. I bet you were abrupt with the comebacks. Oh, come on, now my horse is fucking you? What's going on? All right, come on. Me and you are gonna have some serious problems. Now you're getting hit from the dog! Fasaki and Bruno, get out of there. Stop giving a stranger a test. No, oh God, what the, oh! <laughs> You know, I think I might just have to abandon the bong forever. They seem like they're very happy. There's so many creepers in this episode. I feel like I'm in block C with all the rest of the pedophiles. So my girlfriend got me into the office a while back, and I found a beat that I honestly kind of feel like freestyling on. Cheers to a good show. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Got so much paper that I feel like I'm a scram. I'm trying to show you all the love that I be packing. I gotta show them who the boss is. Michael Scott, bitch. Problems microscopic, cause she wanna be like Pam and Jam. I got two of the fingers up to all your ex man. I ain't Roy, and I don't know what the fuck you saw now. Or what's happening, I got you wetter than they ever did. It's evident I'm better than I'm putting them in a trash bin. They call me Dwight, I think I'm brilliant. Stay up out of my life when I get my millions I'm looking at you like Stanley Doom and Steve Carell walk in the room Cause speaking of fucks I don't give one when it comes to all of your opinions It's back to business, let me finish I'm out of lyrics, Woo! <laughs> Hey, check out El Dre on the beat, though. Look at my little house over there. I forgot I even built that. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for 25,000 subs. Now, everything is just going so fast. Woo! 